Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Hollow and thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today what I got for you guys is another Call of Duty Black Ops video. And I wanted to take this video to talk to you guys about something um, that has to do in regards to Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Supply Jobs, Black Market, etc. So over the past few days or week or so that the brand new DLC weapons came out, all the brand new DLC content, I've opened quite a few supply jobs. Um, a lot of supply jobs, I would say. Probably over 8,000, 10,000 crypto keys. Um, if you were to convert uh, card points into crypto keys as well, a lot of things. I've opened a lot of supply jobs. Plus, I got two more uh, supply job videos. It's a 3,000 supply job key opening, and I'll post it probably later on today. I'll do that into two parts. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about, you know, talking about what I feel like has been done to the uh, black market supply jobs in general. Now, there is no set information about this. There is no, like, data saying, you know, confirming that it has been nerfed because there really isn't. A lot of times, Activision or Treyarch, uh, they've been doing things into the game, whether it's a patch or an update. And, you know, sometimes they don't really tell us what's going on. They just update the game and then they'll tell us the patch notes. But sometimes they don't tell us exactly what has been nerfed and what has been buffed or whatnot. Uh, but in this video, I want to talk to you guys about something. I want you guys to really comment in the comment boxes below with a simple answer. All you guys have to answer is yes or no. Because this is kind of like a yes or no uh, our topic that I'm going to talk to you guys about here tonight. If you guys want to add any additional information or any additional thoughts, you can feel free to do so. But when the first DLC came out, when the first melee weapons came out, I opened supply jobs and I got literally a lot of things. Not only the brand new gear, but I got literally almost every single weapon within one opening. It was, it was crazy. I was getting a lot of brand new things. Now, if you guys don't remember, Activision actually stated something over on Twitter that was retweeted by charlieintel.com and it says the following activision ceo says that post-launch revenue from aw's supply jobs and black ops 3 supply jobs or content exceeded their expectations i don't know if it's just me but ever since the brand new dlc weapons and gears came out and there was that little update or patch um, it, it really feels like the supply jobs have been nerfed now obviously they're not gonna tell us and and i don't blame them if they nerf them or not um, like I said, I don't really have any confirmed information that they did, but it really does feel like they have been nerfed. And I've seen a lot of you guys tweet me whether, you know, asking me if they've been nerfed or not. And obviously, I've told you guys I don't really know. Um, and I've also, like I said, I put up a poll and a lot of you guys, over 80% of you guys said yes, just because it's kind of like a mutual feeling. Everybody's kind of seeing that they feel like they've nerfed them because we're not getting the same amount of things that we got in the last micro DLC when the new uh, melee weapons came out, like the wrench, the butterfly knife and things like that so now obviously they're exceeding their expectations meaning they're making a lot of money off supply jobs which i don't blame them at all it is a business and at the end of the day you got to do what you got to do right so um now why would it make sense for them to nerf the supply jobs obviously it's going to make sense in two ways one let's talk about crypto keys you're going to grind the game more to get more crypto keys because you want to open more supply jobs therefore they have more in-game time it just overall makes players play the game a lot longer and of course the second one players are going to buy cod points those people who don't really like grinding out too much players are going to spend more money on cod points so they can open more supply jobs obviously leading to more sales even better expectations uh which i don't blame them guys i'm not ranting on them this is a company it's a business for us it's i've always said this it's a game for us but for them it's a business and you got to understand that a business is a business so um whether it's fun for us for them it's making money and and being able to make money to reproduce the next call of duty title and things like that so i totally get that but I really kind of want to share this with you guys because I've opened a lot of crypto keys, man. A lot of supply jobs, thanks to a lot of you guys and, of course, my account. And, and it's, it's just been crazy. I've only been able to get the melee weapons, but I haven't really gotten, like, the good. The MX Garan, I still haven't gotten with all the freaking supply jobs that I've opened. And um, that's another thing that I feel. I really feel like the MX Garand, at least the primary weapon, not the special or secondary weapons. I really feel like they should have at least put that as a included bonus weapon for people who have season pass or something like that. Kind of like they did back in the other Call of Duty games, which again, it comes back to the whole, you know, making more money. That's why they include it on supply jobs. So we spend more money. And that's going to be the future of Call of Duty from now on. Like, it's literally going to be Call of Duty Ghost 2 or MW4, or the next title that it's going to be that we don't know yet. It's going to have supply jobs or some type of. Um, in-game system where you have to buy or unlock uh, a certain type of coin or or thing to buy something to get a you know dlc weapon or gear or whatever it is that's just the future of call of duty that's exactly what csgo does they make a lot of money off of that and that's just basically the same way that it's going with call of duty and it makes sense it's, it is what it is you know it's it's business at the end of the day the only thing that i do disagree with them is that at least for your loyal 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 fans well i wouldn't say loyal because i understand some people can't afford the season pass but at least for people that get a season pass, which is basically like saying, listen, I'm going to give you $50. Here it is. I have a subscription 
for you know for me to be able to play all the brand new maps upcoming so at least reward those players with one gun at least one primary gun if you're gonna bring out four melee weapons three melee weapons and a primer at least reward those players with a primary weapon and the, you know and the rest is history you know i think that would be honestly fair but like again like i said um it it doesn't seem like it's gonna go that way if it does even even better right so um i just feel like supply jobs have been really really nerfed and i see myself opening way more supply jobs than i did um as opposed to last time when the micro dlc came out and i am not getting nearly as many things as i did last time let me know in the comments what you guys think about this it, it's just gonna make us pay more money play the game more and it's all making sense to them and and that's just the right thing for them to do i'm not bashing on them i'm not saying anything bad i actually i agree with them i mean at the end of the day like i said it is a business and that is that that's where it's gonna stay but really let me know in the comment boxes below guys i really want to see what you guys have to say about this do you guys feel like if you guys have been opening drops do you guys feel like they've been nerfed a little bit like you're not getting the x amount of things that you normally would get before because a lot of the times i even said it on one of my videos you know, sometimes I feel like I'm getting a lot more items in these drops than in AW's drops. And I probably feel like Advanced Warfare supply drops made more money than Black Ops 3 supply drops because things were harder to get and people would buy more supply drops. So, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Yes or no. If you guys want to add any additional information or thoughts to that, feel free to do so. Thank you all so much for tuning back into the channel. I'll bring you guys a supply drop opening video later on today. And of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later.